hamsters, you can bring them and the Wally. Oh, looking at you. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm missing you so much. Um, but your comments on the blog have been making me smile. And I thought to say thank you. I would read you a story. So maybe you could close your eyes and if you're missing school, you could pretend you are back in school. Let's see how this goes. Right, so I'm going to read you Emma's Lamb. Now you might be able to recognize the illustration as being very much like our book First Snow. And that's because it's written and illustrated by the same lady, Kim Lewis. Are you gonna let me read to my children? Okay, so it's called Emma's Lamb. One rainy spring morning at lambing time, Emma's father put a little lost lamb in a box by the stove, and then he went back to the field to look for the lamb's mother. Lamb and Emma looked at each other. Bah, said Lamb, sitting up in his box. Emma wanted to keep the little lamb and look after him all by herself. I quite like that. So, Emma dried Lamb because he was very wet and she tried to keep him warm because he was very cold. Emma fed Lamb because he was very hungry. When Lamb was dry and warm and fed, he and Emma played. Bah! said Lamb, getting into a mess. There's Lamb in a big mess. Then Emma took Lamb for a walk and he skipped along behind her. Emma decided to play hide and seek. She closed her eyes and counted to ten. Here I come! she cried. Emma looked for Lamb in the stable. She looked for him in the barn. She looked for him in the granary. She looked all around the yard. She couldn't find Lamb in the house. He wasn't in his box. She couldn't find him in the sheep pens either. I give up, she shouted. Emma didn't want to play anymore. She wanted Lamb to come back. She thought he might be cold and hungry. Where are you, Lamb? She cried. Bah! Came a sound from the hay shed. Emma ran inside to look. Lamb sat up in a nesting box where the hens had laid their eggs. Bah! He cried and ran to Emma. So he was good at playing hide and seek. Lamb, I thought I'd lost you, said Emma, holding him very tight. She couldn't look after Lamb all by herself. He needed to be with his mother. But where was she? Then Emma saw her father across the field. A ewe without a lamb ran in ahead of him, calling. Bah! cried Lamb. He wriggled to get free. Emma put him down and Lamb ran as fast as he could to his mother. So there's Lamb. Emma went to the field the very next day. When she called, Lamb came running to see her. Will you remember me? asked Emma. Lamb and Emma looked at each other. Bah! said Lamb, waggling his tail. And that is the end of the story, Oak Craft. So as embarrassing as it is for me to film these, I will try and I will have to put them on YouTube in order to upload them to the blog. So I hope you realise how much this means that I miss you and that I want you to be happy and feel like your lives haven't gone completely crazy. 
we'll be back at school at some point and I will get to give you all a hug and hear all about your fantastic adventures you've been habit having. Until then, keep commenting on the blog. It's making me smile. It's making me laugh. And it's making me very, very proud to be your teacher. I've provided an email address on Friday's blog. I would like to see as many examples of your work, of your um, play, of anything you've been up to. Unless it's video game related, because I really don't care about that. Okay, and um, I will reply through the comments on the blog. But I'm sending a lot of love to you and your families, and um, we'll get through this together. Okay? Big hug.